Science would have us believe that we have nearly lost our animal instincts. But with discipline, training, you can uncage them and turn a man into a weapon. Welcome back, everyone. For those of you that were in uh, our last epic stream of uh, one of the highest quality video games of all time, plumbers don't wear ties. <laughs> um, here we are with a good game, uh, an actual good game. So we'll play this one a couple hours, we'll probably play like 1130 or so, we'll make a little bit of progress here. I figured that way... Uh, since Plumber's Don't Wear Ties is like an hour plus long. Put back Plumber's Don't Wear Ties, I know. Well, what would we do? Just replay the whole game all over again? I'm good. Oh, she was hilarious. Oh my god, my wife was aghast. She was just sitting at the door just with her mouth dropped open like... <laughs> and like I said, she knows that I play. She knows what nefariousness goes on behind these doors. Oh, man. Where were we in this? I don't even remember. I, I think today we will run into the Sentinels. Or I think it's one Sentinel. Made a little Sentinel emoji right there. A mutant. Die, mutant. And I'm wearing the uh, infamous brown Wolverine suit. I love it. What, was it Legendary Wolverine? It was, right? Not Classic. Classic's yellow, right? Hopefully your mayor survived. Plumbers don't wear ties. Oh, my God. It was funny because my, my, my daughter was trying to get in here, too. She's like, are you recording? Because she wanted to be in the video. But meanwhile, she's sitting there like in a towel naked because she just got out of the bath. So my wife's telling her to go away, obviously. And it was a very inappropriate game for her to see. So she made her go away. Why can't my husband just look at poor like a normal person? Oh, man. You know how shocking that game would have been, like, playing it like our 1992 selves? Like, the people my age that were just children then, playing, like, Super Nintendo and Sega, imagine having a 3DO buying that game. Because back then, parents would buy games all the time. Like, my parents would buy me games all the time I shouldn't have been playing, like Doom and Mortal Kombat. Obviously, like, we were children, those were M-rated, right? Oh, before the M-rating, 
They were like MA-13, you know, or MA-17 or whatever. But um, imagine, like, a parent buying a kid that, having no idea what it was, and then, like, your, like, 10-year-old self, 8-year-old self turns it on. Oh, my God. What an epic. Let me, where are subtitles? Do I have subtitles on? Oh, did we establish this one before subtitles? Yeah, I think we established this before subtitles. Let's do dialogue volume up here. Now I gotta remember all the controls. Look at that badass suit, man. Hell yeah. It's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> Maybe we'll get DLC for plumbers. Don't what would. Alright. What would DLC for plumbers don't wear ties look like? Out of curiosity. Maybe. It would probably be more with that boss, with Thresher. Maybe he comes back like plumbers don't wear ties to Thresher's revenge. I can see something like that. What the hell? Why am I back in Africa? Oh, this is a flashback. That's right. Because we escaped Alkali Lake. No game sound? Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Did I not turn the game sound on? Oh, <laughs> you know what? That was my fault. Thank you for telling me. There we go. Apparently, I'm a, I'm a noob streamer. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. NES Dick Tracy was 8-bit uh, LNR. You know, I've never actually clicked. You know, I think I rented it once when I was a kid. Because I vaguely remember playing it, but I know I didn't own it. And I know I didn't beat it. If I rented that game, it would have been one of those games that I would have taken back and gotten something else. Because I vaguely remember playing it. I love Dick Tracy when I was a kid. By the way, my Dick Tracy movie review. Patrons, you guys um, have already seen it. But it is it was copyright claimed. Um, the claim lifts. I appealed it. Um, it lifts in like a day and a half. So as soon as it lifts, I'll post the video. I'll make it public. So if you guys are interested in me going back to classic movie reviews more regularly, please give that a watch. I'm gonna I'm gonna gauge that video's performance and if it performs well. Then Performing well means people watch. <laughs> if it performs well, then I'll, I'll, I'll do more. But uh, I had a lot of fun working on that one. Dick Tracy review. It's it's in the same style. Well, I think it's better than my old stuff. But it, it's like I used to do with like old classic movies. And Dick Tracy's a really fun one to, to analyze. Winora, welcome. You missed my Plumbers Don't Wear Tie stream. <laughs> it's very bizarre. I forgot how to lunge. Anyone remember? Wasn't it? I thought it was LB. Oh, RB. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Aim with RB, lunge with LB. That's what it was. I really enjoyed Genesis Dick Tracy. Yeah, I talked about that one in my review, too, because I, I, I saw the gameplay footage, and it's like a super cool, like, arcade shooter style game. I would have loved that. Why the hell did the NES version get that garbage? I need to stream those games sometime. I, I need to, I need to like, start streaming stuff that's relevant to, like, videos I'm putting out. Like, I'm doing Dick Tracy review. I need to, like, stream some Dick Tracy games. I think that'd be fun to do. I gotta plan that more in the future better. When someone renews their membership, this is a remaster to play. I wish I had, like, audio clip my wife say that. I was like, and she's like, why did you, she's like, you paid $20 for this? I was like, it's remastered. This is a remaster? <laughs> that was a genuine reaction of shock, too. Unscripted. I think Warren Beanie owns it, right? He does. And there's this weird, I didn't really talk about this in the, my review, because it's not really relevant to the movie itself right now. Or not really relevant to the review. But Probably because this part of the world Warren Beatty, um, he does this thing just to be spiteful, where every couple of years, and you can look this up on YouTube, it's really weird. He does this thing where he um, he uh, dresses up in Dick Tracy uniform and plays the character, and he goes on YouTube podcasts to be interviewed as Dick Tracy, and then he'll also have himself on another camera as his real Warren Beatty persona. 
talking to himself as Dick Tracy, and they'll swap back and forth, and there's, like, awkward pauses in between. Uh, it's really bizarre, and the only reason he does these appearances every couple of years is to hold on to those rights. It, until 2027, by the way. In 2027, Dick Tracy does go public domain. Because it's old enough to be enter public domain, so it, he can't, he won't have a stranglehold on it anymore by then. So I'm curious what we're going to see by then. There is a new Dick Tracy comic book coming out that's like a darker, like, gritty version. Uh, I, I'm assuming he signed off on that, because he does own the rights. Even Broly made an appearance. Yeah, he, the second the door opened, he popped up in here immediately. So he, does, he sees me in here, he's like, oh. Oh, damn it. Did you ever read Dick Tracy comics? Like the old ones? Like the comic strips? Not really, to be honest. When I was a kid, my introduction to Dick Tracy was the movie. And I loved it. I still love it. It's really good. Shifter. That's very uh, unimaginative. It's. A... I'm assuming it's, a, uh, it's something that shifts between dimensions. Where was all this shit in Africa in the movie? That was such a small scene. I love this game, though. It's such a good game. This is actually a quality game, not like that uh, weirdness I was playing before, huh? That was a fun stream, though. I had a lot of fun. I, I, I thought that stream was either going to be a lot of fun or it was going to be complete disaster, and it turned out to be both. <laughs> I thought like almost 50 people watching a grown man playing that game. Ridiculous. But I appreciate you guys. So I, man, I hate enemies that disappear. God. So there's a Dick Tracy SNES game? No, there's no there's a there's no SNES version. There's Genesis NES and then there was like a a master system which is the Genesis one with worse graphics, and then you had like the, um, like on the Amiga or something, you had those PCs. Super Nintendo, it skipped Super Nintendo. Uh, I don't know why. Oh, wait a minute, here we go. By the way, Friday we're gonna finish Tomb Raider. It'll be done. Where am I going? Superman 64 was a fun stream to watch, yeah. Horrible game to play, <laughs> but yes, yeah, very fun stream indeed. Where the fuck? I forgot how to do that uh, detective vision, Wolverine vision, or whatever. This looks exactly like all the other Africa areas that I've been in this game. Ah. Oh. Hatred. How's the game audio, though? Is the game audio okay? I can't wait to see the Sentinel. I remember it was a cool boss fight. In a, in a movie, in a game about a movie where it sent, there was no Sentinels. At all. So I see the Kraven level in Spider-Man Shattered Dimension. Yeah, it kind of does look like it, too. That was a good game. I like that one. Next cool classic game that needs to be remastered is Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't think that's gonna happen. That game wasn't even popular among the Sonic community. I never finished that game. I had it on game two. Audio is 100%. Chris, cool. If I can save the lives of my men by causing a few civilians some discomfort, then I will. You've got authorization to attack armed personnel. But if you start hurting non-combatants, why don't we blow up that bridge when we come? They won't let me move. Non-combatants are not to be touched, Striker. That comes straight from the director. You might take your orders. Enemies should take the damage whenever they hit Wolverine. They're literally hitting a metal pipe with their bare hands. I mean, now if you hit his fleshy parts like his sides, I guess. But you like punch him like right in the forehead, like that's gonna hurt. Adamantium. I never liked it back in the day, like when when Magneto ripped the adamantium out of Wolverine, which is freaking horrible. But uh, 
I never liked the bony claws. I remember, yeah, bone claws, they revealed that that was actually... Because back then, remember, they gave, Weapon X gave them the claws. Later on, they retconned it that the whole time that they were just covered. That he had bone claws, but I, I don't like the bone claws. I always like those little adamantium claws. If you haven't read the Wolverine uh, Origin comic, it's really good. Yes, sir. And Logan, if you see Raven Darkholm, consider her compromised. It's Mystique in this game? They keep God, mentioning her. Raven. Damn it, John, where the hell are you? I think I have a line on Creed. That job I got with Kelly is good for some days. This is where you fight the You're Sentinel. It's this area. What's this have to do with Creed? Well, guess who took a job with them? Spider-Man ripped Wolverine in half and Web of Shadows. Yeah, the the Punisher uh, put him under a steamroller. Got him stuck there for a while. Oh, I'm so excited for the next episode of X-Men. By the way, you guys saw the, the episode for X-Men last week? It had the... Uh, Nah, it's been a week already. So if you haven't watched it yet, it, uh, it, it uh, was about the Gene clone. It was the storyline with the Goblin Queen. I kind of feel like they could have stretched that out for another episode, but man, it was so good. Mind-blowing. It, it explains, you know, how, how Cable got where he is. So good. <laughs> really enjoy finding the Sentinels in this game. Yeah, it's super cool looking. Work logs. Robert Kelly. For five years, the Federal Council on Mutant Activity studied the security risk posed by mutants. And their conclusion? Mutants could be a threat. Really enjoyed Punisher could Kills Marvel Universe. Oh, I like, I yeah, that's a good comic. In the newspaper to verify that Completely unrealistic. <laughs> very real like, I love the Punisher. He's one of my favorite comic book characters of all time. But, like, he's not killing half the Marvel the Universe. <laughs> like, they'll, they'll destroy him. From his eyes. If they really try. even a young woman who can control the weather potential threat. But it is plausible based on like what they show in the comic, but nah. <laughs> Personal log, Bolivar Trask. It was amazing, I loving X-Men 97, it's such a good show. It's such a good show. I actually at Legoland when we went, I bought the uh the Blackbird. I, I couldn't resist, I needed it. I want the Blackbird. It comes with Rogue, Wolverine, Cyclops, and Magneto. I wish it came with everyone else. In here. What's the near orchestra concert Friday? It sounds awesome. Yeah, I went to a Zelda concert once, and it was... Oh, man, it was an experience. It was so good. I want to go to the Assassin's Creed one. There's an actual official Assassin's Creed one, but it never comes over here. The one time it was coming over here was in 2019 in uh, Hollywood. And I was going to go because I was already in town for E3. And I bought my tickets and everything months in advance. And I was so upset because they ended up refunding it because the whole concert got canceled. And they said, you're welcome to move your ticket to another date. And the next date was in Paris, France. And I was like, oh, well, guess I can't see it. It was so cool, too. Did your wife have a disappointed look for your purchase of a Lego Blackbird? No, surprisingly. Surprisingly, she just told me to get it because I was staring at it for a while. <laughs> and then I, well, to be fair, I didn't get it there because the line to check out was Anyone ridiculous. So I just went on my phone, I did Amazon Prime and sent it to my house. And I saved a dollar. <laughs> Yay. You know we're going to get an expansion Lego set? No, are we really? You want, wait, Kat, again, you want one or, or you, you saw that that's coming out? Oh, you can't tell me that. This unit has activated all weapon systems. Man, if we get that, if that does happen, this unit has I have to. If that if that does happen, I have to get it. You know how cool that would be? I'll, I want to put all my little X-Men in their rooms and shit. Have a little juggernaut that comes running through. 
it's coming and we'll have 10 to 11 figures? No. Send me a link on Discord or something if you if you uh if you have one. I'm I'm very curious about that. You know what else I want? I want the the uh, the Lego uh, Lord of the Rings one, Rivendell, with uh you know where they have the council with the fellowship. They have the whole set there. I and I was just I was looking at it through the glass. I wanted it, but it's it's so expensive. I think it's like four or five hundred bucks. That's I, I'm that I'm not doing that. I already felt bad about the black which was like 85 bucks and I would oh god it hurt but I, I need I need it I'm gonna rip you up look at that they're like little mini sentinels <laughs> Lord of the Rings one of the few examples of good movie tie-in games oh yeah no, the movie tie-in games for Lord of the Rings were fantastic. Uh, Return of the King was amazing. I remember one year I spent all Christmas morning playing it. I remember it was the same year I got uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 1 on PS2. And um, Castlevania Element of Innocence. It was so good. I, I, Oh, man. I don't know why I haven't streamed those yet. I need to. And they were perfectly on the Steam Deck. Predator unit. Yeah. Hunt this. I swear, Wolverine is one of the best combo characters of all time. I swear. You want a piece of should have stayed out of my way. I'm really excited about this week's episode of X Men, though. I wonder what it's gonna be about. Cause it, it's cause the the second episode left with a cliffhanger that got resolved in this one, and this last episode didn't really have a cliffhanger. I like, though, how it had Gene um, and Cyclops just kind of staring at each other, like, in their room. They were just looking at each other, like, where do, where do we pick up from, from this? They had to abandon their son to another timeline. He, he had a, he did a whoopsie and had a baby with a, 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 a clone and not his actual wife. So I was like, man, they, they, they have some things to talk about. And not to mention, they have no clue when they were switched. I miss movie time games. Me too. Movie time games were fun, man. They were, and they're the nice thing about them. Like they always went, uh, got real cheap in price. Like you could always get them like a cup, like a month or two later, at heavily discounted. But they were fun. I, I feel like trip now. Everything like, you know, the problem is with movie games now nowadays. They want to make everything so big. Everything has to be huge, like big AAA game. And these movie games weren't trying to be that at all. And I like that. They're just like shorter, just basic little experiences. I think it's still important to have games like that. Because even like one of the newer movie games that come out, Avatar. Um, the Avatar game on PS5, it's really good. But it, it's so big. It's massive. It, it's another Ubisoft like collectathon. It's a huge game. But it's like, man, like, I, I like it, but it's not even, like, based on the movie. It's its own story. Like, I miss games that are based on the movie that just expand it in ridiculous ways. Like this. This is based on the movie, but it's completely expanded story-wise. A covert operation designed to deal with the mutant menace that's growing within our borders. And although I Madam Web for people. What would you do in a Madam Web game? You would drive a taxi around with three little girls the whole time, complaining that they'd be kidnapped. That'd be the whole damn movie. Or the whole game. That's it. And at the end of the game, the screen goes black because she's blind. And then she says she's never seen better before. No, you probably saw better when you had your eyesight. <laughs> That's how vision works. Such an awful movie. Has Madame Webber showed up in a video game? Oh wait, she was in Shattered Dimensions, wasn't she? And I'm sure she was in the Lego games, right? So you finally watched Madam Web. I saw Madam Web in theaters. I saw it on like I think I saw it on a cheap Tuesday. But it's oh, it so bad. It's so bad. Like the the critics were were absolutely right on that one. It is really really bad. But it's not even like funny bad. Like like yeah. something that's purposely bad and it's entertaining because of it. It's just bad. It's just like, why did this movie need... This movie is just... Why? 
Why is this a movie? It's the most non-movie movie ever. But doesn't Daredevil see better blood? Yeah, I guess so. He sees everything in red or blue, depending on what version. Still think he'd be, do better with his vision. Just give him his other super senses and his vision. He'd be the ultimate Daredevil. I've now developed a device that can scan blood simply by placing it in That movie was atrocious. Yeah, it was pretty shocked. technology, I've begun to realize that mutants are a threat but only to themselves when their powers first activate. And this is where I hope mutant oh, we will have the greatest benefit. If we can find mutants before they become active, we can... That kills you? I thought I would just heal. Madam Webb's dumbass too. She could see the future, but didn't change the future where she gets a firework shot in her face, making her blind. Well, she did explain that in the movie by saying, that's not how it works. That, that's that's your explanation there, there. It's not how it works. And my, uh, another thing too, for those that saw the movie, like, she got hit with a firework like on the forehead or something, and for some reason she's blind, and she got hit with it underwater. Didn't make sense to me. But uh, on top of that, like, did they address why she lost her ability to walk? Because she's in that wheelchair at the end, but like, nothing happened to her that would cause that. Did, did I miss something, or can anyone explain that that saw the movie? I didn't notice any reason why she shouldn't be able to walk if now, by the end of the movie. I don't know. Says that doesn't work, doesn't elaborate further. Yeah, I, I didn't write the script, <laughs> but that, that's what the movie said. She became lazy, so she atrophied. Now I turn the laser on. I don't know if I'm gonna time. No. I gotta fight them. So you take Morbius over Madam Web, yes, 100%. And Morbius wasn't a good movie either. But if I had to pick one that is less worse, uh, Morbius by far. Morbius is Avengers Endgame in comparison. Like, no, Morbius is, is way better. And that's saying something. <laughs> At least Morbius was a superhero movie. This wasn't even a superhero. It was just a thing. Just a thing that happened. Who wins in a fight, Madam Web or Morbius? I mean, Madam Web can't really defend herself. <laughs> she just kind of tells the future. Well, no, that's not true in the movie. She had, like, these weird... They gave her some weird ability where she can, like, teleport herself and, like, make webs of herself. It's the weirdest thing. That was stupid. How do I get through there? X Mansion Lego sets out in November and also rumored being out 300. That's a lot. I'll have to look at it. If we can find mutants before they become active, we can help them prepare. How am I gonna have time to do that? I'm not allowed to have my own opinions on things, otherwise piss off both the woke and anti woke. Well, Natalia, you know, you know how the internet works. <laughs> That's the internet. Oh no. Oh no! Wait, am I safe? Oh, I guess I am. Uh, what? What is all this? Bunch of random teleporters. Madam Web's a cool character. She deserves better. Yeah, she does deserve her own movie, though. She's a cool character when she's part of a big spider story. That's it. In no way, shape, or form does Madam Web need a standalone movie. That's just the silliness. Oh, look. Which one's that? I got a little figure. I don't know. I couldn't tell what that was. Sonny should sell the Spider-Man rights back to MCU. 
I, I mean, they're they're only making these movies to hold on to the rights to all these like random Spider-Man characters. Craven, I'm curious about Craven. I'm shocked they're still releasing Craven because they're gonna lose money. I mean, at this point, it's already made, right? So I mean, they might as well release it. But that movie's gonna bomb. It doesn't look like it. it's very much not Craven either. He gets like mystical like lion blood in his eye or something, and then it becomes like. His eyes glow the yellow and becomes like part lion. <laughs> Goofy nonsense, man. Craven doesn't need one either. No, he doesn't. Craven just needs to be a Spider-Man villain. Like in Spider-Man 2 the game. Like in Ama was it Spider-Man 2? Yeah. Like in the amazing Spider-Man 2 the game also. He was a villain in both of those. And he was training. Man, I love this uh the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie game, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, the game itself isn't that good, but man, it had one of the best versions of Kraven they've ever done. Uh, he was training Spider-Man to be a better Spider-Man, and then at the end, he was like, all right, now I'm going to hunt you. He was training him the whole time just so he can have the best prey, and I was like, whoa, like that's the coolest version of Kraven I've ever seen in a video game. Are there any big superhero movies coming out this year? My son would know. My son knows, like, every movie date. Um, Deadpool. Deadpool and Wolverine. There's something else. And I can't... Marvel or DC. I mean, the Crow reboot, if you want to count that, but not really. I, that's a comic book thing, but... If you're talking like a traditional superhero, play, uh, but yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, I don't know what else. There was something else. I believe. That movie I'm excited about. Oh, I saw Godzilla and Kong yesterday. Fucking amazing. I saw it in 4DX. So we were just flying all over the place. Awesome movie. Correcting Those movies are consistently making money, too. Carnage wasn't really that bad either in Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yeah, it was weird, though. They made him, like, the... He was such a, like, throw-in character. He didn't really have anything to do with the major part of the story. Then he's, like, the final boss. It was really weird that they put him in there. Considering they didn't have Venom yet. Oh, that's an... Can I get that? Oh, no. Is it glitched? I think it's glitched, because I can't get to that thing. The Raimi Spider-Man movies are coming back to theaters this month? Yeah, I'd watch them. I've, I've seen those movies a million times, and I own them on Blu-ray. That is cool, though. Oh, man. Come on, get close. I don't want to reload my checkpoint. Come on. This unit has sustained damage. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. I liked it more than Godzilla vs. Kong. It was just too long. I liked them both. They were both really good. Ow. Excuse I liked the little orange monkey. You have level five clearance. Well, uh, Kong starts yes, throwing them around, course, smacking all the other apes with him. Oh, he messed up that doctor. Scar King was a cool villain. Wish they gave him more screen time. They took a while to introduce him. I was surprised at how long it took to introduce the main villain. Yeah, there's rumors in Deadpool and Wolverine that uh, Channing Tatum is going to pop up as a variant Gambit. It would be hilarious. Now, I don't want him as like the MCU Gambit, but if it's a variant for one movie, fine, whatever, just do it. I was excited when I heard the next Spider-Man film would have Scorpion coming back from Homecoming, but then was April Fooled. Oh, that's right. Matt Gargan, he was that Spanish dude that would, he has like a, his eyes all messed up now. Yeah, he just got put in prison, and they never showed him again, right? Master mode. So I have a new care package. You're definitely going to enjoy the goodies I'm getting for you this year. Nice. Man, I've always loved the Sentinels. They're such cool X-Men villains.
Shimo's a good ice puppy, the goodest of girls. Is Shimo a girl? Is it female? Did they establish that? Oh, by the way, there's this little alligator monster, little fat Godzilla that, that Kong looks at in the movie. He looks at it and it has like a little lizard Raven in his mouth and it just kind of Logan. stumbled away. You smell pretty good. That thing's called Doug. For a corpse. D-O-U-G. After what happened in Africa, being dead was the best way of staying alive. I saw the action figure. By the way, that's Mystique. I don't know what she's doing in here. Three years early Africa. Operation exactly Fast. did happen, darling. Team, we have a situation. Logan, you're closest to Nord's last known position. Go find him. Yes, sir. And Logan... If you see Raven Darkholm, consider her compromised. Compromised. Mystique is another character that had absolutely no personality or real story in uh, X-Men 1. In the first X-Men movie. It's weird watching that movie now, because in all honesty, like, back then, X-Men 1 was legendary. But, like, with all the comic book movies we've had now and the bar being raised, imagine if that movie were made today. I think X-Men 1 would be considered a bad movie. I, I don't think it'd be as well regarded today. Um, the X-Men movies, I feel, really took off of X-Men 2. Because X-Men 2 was genuinely, like, not even just a good X-Men movie. It was just a good film. It was just a good movie, period. But X-Men 1, go back and watch it today, and, like, man, it's, like, it, it's showing its age a bit. Very early 2000s, one of Still a good movie, though. But, yeah, it, it's just today, I think it would be regarded differently. If we never had an X-Men movie, and that's the one we got today, I don't think people would like it. People complain that Sabretooth and Wolverine don't know each other. At least Sabretooth doesn't at all acknowledge Wolverine and he just makes animal noise. It's weird. They're talking that. At least my night is safe thanks to your therapeutic live stream. Oh, you missed the last stream I did at 7. Plumbers don't wear ties. It's a beautiful disaster. But now we end the night with a good game. Hoping the X Men MCU would get a good Nightcrawler. I mean, he was okay in X Men 2. Yeah, he was alright in X Men 2. I really like that White House scene with him. That was cool. I hope they take a beat off X Men Evolution. Like, you know what I really liked? Honestly, um, X Men Evolution, if you've ever seen that. I think that has one of the best versions of Wolverine we've ever had. Yeah, we got combo Wolverine in 90s, you know, X-Men 97 Wolverine, which is obviously awesome too. But man, X-Men Evolution, I love that version of Wolverine because he's an established teacher already in the in the X-Mansion. So Cyclops and all the others, they're the kids. But I was like, there's something so cool about seeing Wolverine as one of the teachers. Like, one of the mentors in the school. I, I love that version of, of Wolverine. The X-Men Evolution one, one of my favorites. So good. Seeing him as a mentor to all the others. Can I upgrade? Oh, I have seven. Holy shit. We're going to save up for this. We need 12. The first X-Men movie gave Toad more frog-like appearances and implemented in X-Men Evolution the comics. It was just Darth Maul. It, it, was, uh, it was Darth Maul with green hairspray. <laughs> Ray Park. You guys remember 2 Storm in X-Men 1? If you watch it, she had like an African accent. And then the second movie, they completely forgot about it. What am I supposed to do here? Oh. What? Wolverine's puzzle solving adventures. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm supposed to do. Hugh Jackman put the X-Men on the map. Yeah. We still, you know, one thing though I hate about all the X-Men movies so far, I don't feel we've ever gotten a good version of Cyclops. 
We really haven't. I don't I don't think they've nailed Cyclops yet. Um Best version of Cyclops? This is all outside of the comics, of course. The best version we've had of Cyclops yet? X-Men 97. Watch the first episode. That's the best version of Cyclops we've got. Ever. That's the Cyclops we need. It's the reason he's the fucking leader of the X-Men and not Wolverine. I want that version of Cyclops. Like, he's doing... He's, like, moving around with his optic blast. He's doing, like, counterattacks and, like, he's martial arts skills. He's a badass, man. Falls off the Blackbird without a parachute and then just lasers his way to safety. That's Cyclops. That's what I want to see in live action. They have not gotten that right yet. X-Men Evolution most definitely needs a comeback and a solid conclusion. Yeah, and Apocalypse, I love the version of Apocalypse. So he's like an Egyptian like pharaoh that got awakened. And then um, he's all like robotic because of sentinel technology he absorbed. I'm like, whoa, that's such a cool version of him. X-Men Evolution was a really good show. Remember Gambit was a bad guy in that too for a while? He was a Magneto. I like how they did Rogue as a goth girl in X-Men Evolution. Yeah, it was perfect for the era. Like early 2000s. It's when like all the scene kids are running around. Oh, I tried to jump. We never got a live action Omega Red. Yes, we did. He was in Deadpool 2 in the prison. He was in Deadpool 2 in the prison. He was there. Yeah, go uh, Google it. Omega Red Deadpool 2. You see him. Why am I doing puzzles? I think I'm supposed to go up there. I had a Wolverine figure from X-Men Evolution. Love the orange and black suit. Yeah, me too, because it looked like this one. This is my favorite suit. This one for me is very nostalgic because it reminds me of the X-Men arcade game. There we go. Really? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Let me look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Omega Red was there in Deadpool 2 in the prison. I remember seeing him. I see. Deadpool 2. Omega Red. Yeah, he was there. Oh, look. Omega Red was cut from Deadpool 2. Time to get to work. I must have seen it in a deleted scene or something. That, that's... Yeah, I must have seen him in a deleted scene or something. He was there. He was cut. If you guys can't see it, look. All right. Hold on. Omega Red. That is Omega Red in the prison in Deadpool 2. But he was cut from the movie. Maybe, oh, you know what? I have the movie on 4K Blu-ray. I think that one's like a director's cut that has some of the cut scenes. Maybe he's in that version. I got to rewatch it. I haven't seen my Blu-ray in a while, but I knew he was in the movie. He must be in that version of it. Who's the actor who played him? I have no idea. But he must be in the director's cut of the movie or something, then. That's the only reason I would have known. <clears throat> I hate anyone who caught Cyclops boring, but those... You know who did call him boring? It was Morph. And they, oh, you married the most boring man in the world. I love Morph. Um, yeah, no. People that call Cyclops boring, um, I feel are not familiar with the comics. Cause he's like one of the, he's one of the really well-written characters. Oh, you know what? I bet you. Look, I gotta do that. Here we go. Freaking Tomb Raider Wolverine style over here. I can imagine Peter Dinklage playing Doctor Octopus. You know, I wouldn't mind that. You gotta remember, Peter Dinklage is legitimately, he's legitimately a good actor too. But what is going on here? Do I gotta light this? Do I like that. Why am I solving puzzles? Wolverine doesn't do this. Oh. 
Well, how am I supposed to light that and move it? Maybe it stays lit. And then I can move it back. Yeah, it stays lit. There we go. Super smells got to suck when someone farts near you. Yeah, it probably sends Wolverine to like a stroke if it's bad enough. I want to fight Sentinel. Damn it. He's whooping my ass for a minute there. Fatality. This pit also confused me. Yeah, it's freaking the Tomb Raider. No one could stop the Wolverine, though. Needs crank. Yeah, I'm playing Uncharted. <laughs> damage taken. What the region? I don't even know what I have equipped here. Oh, look. Oh, my God. Look. I've got more I can equip. I didn't even realize that. Holy shit. Increase maximum health. Yes. Maximum rage. Damage boost. Extra experience from each kill. That, that'd be a good one. Yeah. Nice. I'm telling you, Wolverine's unstoppable in this game. Make a great Joker, man. I don't know how I feel about that new Joker movie. Um, although I love the first one, but uh, it's like a musical. Like, I don't want... It's just going to be a Lady Gaga movie. I don't know. I hope it's good. That first one's going to be a hard act to swallow. And I think it's the first time Joaquin Phoenix has agreed to play, like, uh, the same character in the sequel. I don't think he does sequels previously. that oh there's a crank I need it it's gonna be a musical of 15 songs yeah I could give a shit about the song but it's like I don't know like, yeah I don't maybe it's like a thing where Harley's crazy and she's like imagining in her head and those are the singing parts but like, I don't want a musical like a Lady Gaga musical if I wanted that I'll just watch American Horror Story or something Adamantium Rage. Oh, come on. But probably if Harley Quinn have more screen time than Joker and she'll be the new and improved Joker for modern audiences, I don't want her to become the Joker. You know what? I, I actually really like the Telltale version of her when they made her like a boss bitch. And she like manipulated Joker into turning into like the Joker we know. I thought that was a really cool interpretation of Harley. She's like a gang leader. It was very different. I didn't hate it. I miss Telltale games. Isn't Telltale back? Like, what are they working on? I know they, they came back a while ago. But they did that Expanse game, I think. Have you played Beyond Two Souls? Yeah, I got it on PS3 and I beat that game. It was alright. Do you enjoy musicals? I'm not really. Like, sound of music and shit like that, no. But, like, I like the, like, kind of darkly gothic uh, musicals like Sweeney Todd. It's gotta be something creepy like that, you know? Like Sweeney Todd or... You guys ever heard of Repo the Genetic Opera? Oh, man, that's a musical and it's, just, it's awesome. I love that movie. I own it, too, but, um... 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I just can't be watching like Sound of Music and Grease and shit like that. I don't care about that. Things boring. What about Little Shop of Horrors? Oh yeah, I love Little Shop of Horrors. But see, it's like a weird little, like a dark comedy. Like, you know what I? Oh man, Taco, I'm glad you mentioned that movie. I need to review that movie. I hope you guys enjoy the, the Dick Tracy review. Cause I do want to go back to reviewing like classic movies, like I was doing in the beginning of my channel a lot. I really enjoy doing that. But um, Little Shop of Horrors. One thing I really love about that movie is um, on the Blu-ray they got the alternate cut of the ending. And it's just giant plants taking over the earth and just rampaging through the city. It's so random and out of the blue. Loved it. What about Aladdin? I don't consider Aladdin a musical. I mean, I guess you could consider all those like 90s animated Disney movies and musicals, but I don't know. They, they, they've never been, I, I've never put them in the musical genre. I guess they would be though. You can't hate those, though. Those are classic. That's classic, like, animated, like, Disney. You need a plumbers don't wear time music. I, that big game basically was music. They have long sections where it's just still images of music. So we, we already got that. We don't need another. <coughs> the way you got the dog soldiers view, people got to click the videos. And then I'll make more and more and more and more. You'd have an easier time sneaking up on me, darling, if I didn't already know your send. Like I was saying, you're supposed to be dead. I'm a lot of things. Things that need to remain secret. You're a mutant? <laughs> I should have known. What are you doing here, Logan? I heard your phone message to Wraith. I came here. Honestly, looking that, for that suit Creed. looks cool. So this is all your fault. Wraith came here looking for Creed too. He got Instead caught. of just like naked yeah. blue scaly woman. Now you're here looking for Wraith. Small world. But why? Here's a calm unit so we can keep in contact. That's very early two thousands comic book mystique. Up. When she had her own mini series yeah, for a while, question. she was like a spy. Help me find Wraith? And I'll tell you everything you want to know. Find a way to open those doors while I see if I can go hack into their mainframe. All right. I'll help you. But then I'm going after Creed. I wouldn't have it any other way. I like that outfit. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's right out of like the early 2000s Mystique comics. I think that's back then she was running like secret missions for Presser X or something. <laughs> Kind of like an X-Force kind of thing. Like, as an agent. Yeah, like, naked scaly mystique. It never made sense that she was just walking around naked, though. Like, what if she gets cold? <laughs> like, you need clothes. And if you're naked, you can't have a cool outfit. Like, a cool superhero costume. You're just naked. Yeah, I prefer the, the, you know what my favorite Mystique is? The X-Men uh, 90s version where it was like the white, the white dress with the skull, with the skull belt around it. I, that's classic Mystique, man. I like that look. That's always been my favorite one. She looks cool. Some of you that just want naked mystique are the same ones making the uh, the plumbers don't wear tie decisions where the boss makes her take her clothes off. You perverts. <laughs> Disgusting. I like superhero outfits. Where am I going? Oh, I gotta move it. Yeah, white dress mystique was pretty classy. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, clothes mystique. She looked cool in that suit. Although, like I said, the suit in this game looks really cool too, though. Oh, 
my god, look how slow I'm going now. Silver Surfer is naked. Silver Surfer is butt naked. Yeah, you're right. He's got those silver balls floating around space. <laughs> He's got that silver sack floating in the back of his face. Although, is he naked, or did his clothes also turn silver? I don't know. Debatable. Norin Rad. Oh, fuck. I always like uh, Silver Surfer. There's, um, there's, I don't, I don't think there's anything, like, substantial to this, but there are rumors that, um, Silver Surfer is being reworked for the MCU as a female Silver Surfer, which... Why do you have to do that? Like, I just, I, I just want Norrin Rad. I want the character as he is in the comics. Again, it could just be people saying shit. Because there's nothing official yet, one way or the other. It, it wouldn't surprise me if they do that, though. Like, it wouldn't shock me at all. Am I... Oh, I'm supposed to be over here. Fuck. I'm gonna go back. World Silver Underwear, right? What? Come on! Bullshit. Anya Taylor's Joy is going to be Silver Surfer. They haven't confirmed anything about Silver Surfer. We don't even know if he's going to be in the movie. Fantastic Four. I think it's all rumor baiting right now. I like Silver Surfer in the second Fantastic Four. Yeah, um... Was it Doug Jones played him and then it was uh, Lawrence Fishburne did the voice acting? Yeah, that was an awesome version of Silver Surfer. Except that he beat Galactus' fart cloud by just like... Powering up. I don't know what he did. <laughs> I don't even know how he won. I hate this. I think I have to jump on those platforms. And I like how when Silver Surfer was describing the Susan Storm, what Galactus does, he just had like a little TV in his belly. <laughs> like, why can he do that? Now, I want Silver Surfer in the MCU, like, as is. I, I like that character. I want him just as is, as he is in the comics. Let him be. Like, if you want to have, like, a Galactus have a different Herald, if there's another Herald of Galactus, go for it, but don't just change Silver Surfer. He's had a lot of other ones, like Terax, a bunch of different characters have been his Heralds. They're not just, like, other Silver Surfers. Norrin Rad is the Silver Surfer. There's other characters that are heralds of Galactus that are not silver. They don't just become silver servers. It's not how it works. It's not how it works. He beat it with an even bigger fart explosion. I guess that's what he did. That's what it looked like in the movie. He dissipated the fart cloud with a opposing force. A bigger fart cloud, you're right. Uh, oh, I thought it glitched on me. Trask is the key. Oh! That almost teleported me off the platform. This is a video game. Uh, yes, anime. You are you are making a statement of fact. This is a video game. <laughs> I can see this controller, and I'm streaming on YouTube. This is a video game. Correct. Get out of here. It's taking forever to find the sentinel. I thought the Sentinels, man, were kind of cool in Days of Future Past in the movie. I like the idea of the Sentinels and how they use like mystique scales and like studied it to like make the Sentinels adapt. I thought that was awesome. Days of Future Past is such a dark storyline in the comics. Like, it's basically Terminator. They were just like, the Sentinels were like, oh, let's uh, take over the world because we want to get rid of all mutants, but mutants are technical humans, so. Let's kill everybody and take over. It's literally Terminator. 
there had to have been some uh, influence there. Like the whole Terminator future had to have influenced the Days of Future Past story. Because that came. Terminator came first, right? Because Terminator was what, 84? 84, 85? Days of Future Past, the original storyline was. Yeah, Terminator was first, right? Because Days of Future Past, I think, came like late 80s, didn't it? In the comics, I mean, of course. Cable is a mutant John Connor, yeah. He's so cool looking. This unit has Man, I hope Bishop comes back in X-Men 97. Cause like, he went back to his time, but like, man, I like Bishop as a character. I think he's so cool. I love it when he fights too, like the Sentinels blast him and he just like, takes the power and just chucks it right back at them. He's an awesome character. I'm surprised they didn't give him the Killmonger hair that they're giving all black characters now. They just cut his hair short. Get out of here. I'm the best at what I do. More teleporters. They stretch out some of the levels in this game for sure though. This game is cool, but it's got there's a lot of padding in this game. Okay, here. Oh, who's that? Who's that? Looks like a big robot. A big mutant loving robot. Freezing sequence initiated. I gotta take the power cell over there. Man, you guys remember Cadigan. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Remember back in the 90s, they had, oh, I fucking loved it. They had, you can buy like a little, it's a toy. It's like a little plastic box. And it was a, a it, it, it had a picture of an issue from the 90s comics. And you open it and it had a little playset inside. Anyone remember those? Oh man, I had most of them. I had the one with Omega Red and Wolverine on the cover. They were so cool, you would open it, and it's a little, like, uh, danger room or, like, Weapon X lab inside. And you had the little mini figurines in there. Man, toys were awesome back then. <clears throat> Spider-Man isn't above murder. He just really tries not... What do you mean Spider-Man's not above murder? Spider-Man is like adamantly like he will not kill a bad guy. Uh, Spider-Man does not murder. Completely against his character. How do I get that up there? I'm gonna grab this. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, they were little little playsets. They were around the same time as the action figures and shit. With third degree burns over half of his body. Perhaps we should start sedating test subjects to prevent this from happening again. Rage! Okay, well, I gotta get back here. I need the battery. You know, can't Wolverine just cut through all this bullshit? <laughs> like, he quite literally cut through walls. I thought you were talking about the Mighty Max kind of sets. Yeah, they were kind of like that. Yeah, they were like Mighty Max, but they were X-Men. And they had comic book covers on the front. But it was similar to the Mighty Max stuff where you open it and it's like a little playset inside. 
There was an incident in the lab this morning. A mutant attacked Dr. Shilder. Now he's in intensive care with third degree burns over half of his body. Perhaps we should start sedating test subjects to prevent this from happening again. I'm not sure what to do here. Freezing sequence initiated. That freeze is something. It's over there. What the hell is this? You found the cake. Yummy. What is this? <laughs> I don't understand why there's a cake there. That's got to be some reference to some other game or something. A portal reference? Was portal out yet during this time? Maybe. Who the fuck is Morloon? He is one of Spider-Man's most powerful foes. I don't even know if he's around anymore in the comics. I get, you know what? Oh, is the battery in that? Yeah, it looks like it is in there. Okay, so yeah, I teleport here and I... Wasn't Mortlund kind of like an energy vampire? He was like draining like spider powers or something, right? He wasn't that long lived of a character. My power cell. There we go. I think I gotta freeze myself. Oh, see, look, I gotta move this here and I gotta freeze myself a bit. Yeah, he's a weird vampire. Yeah, I remember he's some kind of vampire monster. Freezing sequence initiated. I like he just willingly freezes himself. So weird. Futuristic technology in the 70s is Weapon X. They are the future. Tell me, mutant. Does that metal run through your entire body? Now why don't you come down here and find out? Mutants seem to labor under the impression that they're special. Better than humans. Homo superior. Bah. I know the truth. You're freaks of nature. Aberrations. You're a kind of... This almost has nothing to do with the movie. This whole game. It's better well, for you it, though. a real bad day to give me this speech. Are you threatening me, mutant? Security will be here soon enough. But in the meantime, let me show you how I intend on ridding the Earth of your kind. Wait, was that Bolivar Trask, that scientist? Oh, that makes... That makes sense because if you guys remember, Bolivar Trask, I forgot they made him black in X Men 3. You see him, he's talking to the government about the cure or whatever, and it's uh, the, the guy from Commando, the the one that eats green berries for breakfast, or the one that, that Arnold was fighting when he said that. He's like, I'm a green brain, motherfucker. He was Trask, and then they recast him as Peter Dinklage in Days of Future Past. I forgot about that. That character went through a complete change. He was a black guy and then became a white midget. <laughs> or dwarf, I don't know. What's the correct terminology without being offensive? Dwarf? Which out of three Wolverine games is your favorite? Well, which three Wolverine games are you talking about? Like this, the NES game, and like Adamantium Rage, or, or other games that Wolverine is in? Because if it's a standalone Wolverine game, this is the best one we have right now. By far. Yeah. 
Crash Ball so Dave's future past. Yeah, he was Peter Dinklage. <laughs> Completely different. Honestly, his Dave's Future Past version was better. Because he didn't do anything in X-Men 3. He was just there. He was just there for a character name drop. He had nothing to do with Sentinels or anything. Damn. Still going. Get back, freak! You're nothing more than an animal that should be terminated. Then what are you waiting for? Shoot me! Shit. There goes his arm. <laughs> he just grabbed it. So, wait a minute, hold on. He cut off his hand. Wait a minute. What came first? X-Men Origins Wolverine or, or X-Men? X-Men 3 came first, right? Because cutting off Trask's arm doesn't make sense. He had his arm in X-Men 3. He wasn't missing an arm. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's the game. They're completely ignoring the movie at this point. I was thinking of the X-Men movie game, that game. Oh, X2 Wolverine's Revenge. Yeah, I remember I used to like that game. I wonder if it still holds up. I'll stream it sometime. Not anytime soon, because it's just Wolverine and Weapon X all over again. But that game was cool. That game was advertised as X-Men 2 Wolverine's Revenge, and the game has nothing to do with the movie. It's very much a comic book game. It's not a movie game. But they advertised it with the movie, and you see Jackman on the front cover. But when you play the game, it's just comic book Wolverine. And I remember they were promoting it like crazy, because I, I, I worked, that was when I had my first job at Dunkin' Donuts Baskin Robbins, and they were promoting it heavily at Baskin Robbins. If you bought the game, it had like free ice cream coupons and shit in there. Yeah, I have X2 Wolverine's Revenge, I think, on the, uh, yeah, it's 2 emulator, I think, on my Steam Deck. You play the X-Men movie game, X-Men the official game. Yeah, I remember, that game was weird, because you play as, it's, it's a Nightcrawler, Wolverine, and Iceman game. It's just such a weird trio. Uh, but that whole, I remember it not being very good. I have it on 360. Um, I remember it not being very good, though. And that game only existed to explain why Nightcrawler is not in X-Men 3. Only reason that game was made. Kind of funny. And, and the whole thing is just for him to say at the end, like, Oh, I don't want to be violent and get in fights, so I'm leaving the X-Men. And it's like, oh, you made a whole game for this. They really capitalized on it. All right, some more sentinels. Terminator sort of has that stupidity where you never know how it concludes and how the humans fix things and then Skynet for good far in the future. You know what I want to explore in Terminator? I think it'd be interesting if they explored what happens after Humanity won. Like, rebuilding the future, like, rebuilding the governments of the world, like, what, what does that look like? I don't know how interesting of a movie it would be, you want a piece because, of like, I mean, Terminator is about, like, the machines and humans first, like, it's just humans, like, I don't know if it would be as interesting, but, like, I don't know, would, would, would humans, like, repurpose machines and use them for their own benefit or something, like... Because the machines are still there. They're just turned off. What if humans, like, rewrote their programming and activated them? Although that would be a horrible mistake. They probably shouldn't do that. But humanity is not one to make good decisions. <laughs> As we've uh, proven meant multiple times in our species in the past. <sighs> I go backwards. You 
got to freeze Wolverine to get past the... No, I already did that. Yeah, that was forever ago. I, I'm, I'm past that part. So I mean, what does redo in the world look like? The closest look we got to that was the ending of Terminator Resistance, the game. You have, like, little, like, images of people walking around and rebuilding, and the Terminators have, like, plants growing on them and stuff. It'd be interesting. Maybe, like, a comic book or something. Oh, you're gonna get I imagine humanity would be at each other's throats. They'd be like, it, it would probably look like The Walking Dead, where the zombies aren't even the biggest threat anymore. Now it's just other people. So I'm assuming it would be like, there'd probably be bad people trying to take advantage of the situation and like, you know, they're the ones that are going to fix the world. Meanwhile, there's others that are trying to like, not repeat the mistakes of the past. There's a lot of story to tell there. We'll talk about Terminator in much more detail when I stream the Terminator game. I was I was jogging today in the morning. I went out for a jog, and um, I was listening to like ambient Terminator. So I started thinking to myself, like, how does Terminator make sense? Like time travel wise and all that. Like all the different little plot holes that time travel creates in Terminator, and like I I, I figured it all out. <laughs> But I'll talk about it more on Terminator stream. And when I do my inevitable Terminator timeline one day. Like, I'll, I'll very much, like, make sense out of everything. Who's next? Thought about it very deeply. Where? Oh, there's an elevator here. They actually did the solution to that new game. Oh, you never played Terminator Resistance? If you're a Terminator fan, it's a must play. It's a must play. It's the best Terminator video game ever made. Hands down. Oh, that and the Annihilation DLC, the Annihilation line, it's worth it. Yeah, that game completely connects to the future, the T2 future. And uh, yeah, it kind of gives you a glimpse into the after the afterwards, but, uh, not completely. Highly recommend it. Oh! Oh, great. Oh, no, we gotta do the Uncharted balancing act now. Wolverine was not made for balancing. <laughs> There. We'll double jump our way over. Are you going to redo your X-Men movie timeline? I don't know. I, I don't know if anyone really cares. Like, if I'm talking about, like, Days of Future Past and all that, I don't think it's really relevant anymore. Especially the fact that, like, it's going to be all rebooted in the MCU. It's kind of a wash at this point. I remember I did it on Apocalypse and Deadpool 1. Fresh meat. Here we go. Where's that guy? Here we go. Arms off. Head off. Leg off. I'm coming to get you. Oh, no. Bullshit. Come on. Still get chills in the final battle in Terminator Resistance. They did such a good job with it. They really did. In the Marvel Ultimate Universe, Wolverine was once ripped in half by the Incredible Hulk. Yes, he was. Effortlessly. That's a suck, man, for Wolverine. Because, like, yeah, he'll survive it. That shit will hurt. What about the one guy who's mad at your X-Men movie timeline? Yeah, that dude wanted me to... It was so weird, because he, he would write me paragraphs of, of me wanting to redo the X-Men timeline, but it, it was just all nonsensical. The guy wasn't up there. It was, he wasn't all there. It was just a bunch of weird nonsensical stuff that made no sense. It's like he wanted me to, like, change the, the X-Men timeline of events. 
look as if I worked for 20th Century Fox. Like, it was bizarre. I'm going right through these assholes. Damn, these things take a beating. Holy shit. My god. Imagine Edward Norton Hulk for Hugh Jackman Wolverine. I love Edward Norton Hulk. I really like him a lot. You know, MCU Hulk that we ended up with is good, but I, I really, really like Edward Norton and Bruce Banner and Hulk. I thought he was perfectly cast. But apparently he was a huge pain in the ass to work with. With all the behind the scenes stuff. After a Terminator Salvation movie game, I never bothered playing another game of the franchise. I like that game. That game was Gears of War. It would die at Gears of War. It was Gears of War Lite. I'm going to stream that one sometime. It's such an easy game to 100% too. Like, you get all the trophies and achievements by putting the game on hard and just beating it. You literally get every single... There's nothing special you have to do. I have no idea if I'm going the right way or not. I'm assuming I am. This all looks the same. Okay, I guess I'll keep going this way. Wolverine's lost, man. There's just like a waypoint or something here. Is there another path that I'm not seeing? Oh look there, it's tell me where to go. Thing. Tell me to go back up that way. Up there? Okay, I guess I'll keep going up. Oh yeah, here we go. Terminator Salvation was a good movie. Absolutely, I love Terminator Salvation. Uh, they should have just kept going with that. Yeah, have you guys seen the original ending for Terminator Salvation? Or not seen it, they didn't make it, but it was the original script. The ending, oh my god, if they, if they had done, if they had pulled the original ending from that movie, I would have hated that movie forever. They wanted, you know how like John Connor was wounded at the end and, and Marcus gave up his heart for him and a heart transplant, which conveniently was compatible with him. But anyways, aside from that, they wanted to kill John Connor and to, to make him the, the heroic, to keep him as the heroic like face of the resistance. Marcus was, they were going to, because he's a robot man, they were going to cover him and John's skin. So John, he was going to basically pose. He was going to cosplay as John Connor. So in the future, John Connor was just Marcus. After John Connor, the real one dies. What did they build? I would have hated that. A weapon designed to detect and terminate mutants. If I was in the writer's room and they thought of that idea, I'd be like, what is wrong with you? Look at that thing, man. It's big. huge. I'll give him that. That reminds me of the Sentinel boss in uh, X Men Mutant Apocalypse for Super Nintendo. It's like a big head in Wolverine stage, too. It's just like it. You getting TMT Wrath of the Mutants Arcade? Oh, that comes out this month? I forgot about that game. I probably will. Honestly, the game's not that great. I played it at the arcade, actually. I played it multiple times. But I'll get it. It's a fun little beat em up. I didn't realize that was coming out so soon. Um, here, let's get this little mutagen. I could probably, oh, here we go. 
eight. Yeah, I want to get my claw damage up all the way. Does Wolverine really need any more health boosts? It's pretty healthy as it is. It sounds like I might like a Walmart checkout lane. Swaying down. One thing I didn't care for, though, with the Sentinels in the movie, is that they were they were kind of small. I know they were very different. They were more like Nimrod than they were Sentinels. If you follow the like future X Men, uh, Days of Future Past era, it was very much Nimrod. That, that that was the inspiration. But I, I like the classic, which is the giant purple robot sentinels. I want to see those in the MCU. Whenever we get sentinels in X-Men, I want it just like that. Just giant robots. Like, that's what sentinels are. People died and six others were injured. I have tried to keep an open mind towards mutants. To treat them as equals. But I don't know if that's wise anymore. Razvan, welcome. Would be interesting if two Sentinels would be powered by arc reactor technology. You know what? They probably would do that. In that universe, it would make sense. They have just that raw power. And remember the in Iron Man 1? The arc reactor was supposed to be like almost unlimited energy. So it's not like they're running on just double-A batteries, you know? That'd be cool. It makes sense, too, because they have like hand lasers. Just like Iron Man's repulsors. They just weaponize it and make them deadlier, basically. Oh, hello, baby sentinel. Hello, baby. Ah. Two missiles. Get me your missiles. I want to deflect them. Oh, he's got minions. Minions teleporting in. Dang, this is my ass. The only game you play Sentinel is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, X-Men Children of the Atom also. I believe the Sentinel is playable. Um, Damn. We should have gotten Iron Man 4, but with Ultimo, it's a just giant robot. Ultimo, I think, is in the Iron Man 2 video. I think it was the second one. Almost got his ass. Ah! Shit. The MCU ever mention AIM? Yeah, Iron Man 3. I'll just kill. What, didn't he work for AIM? Wasn't his old organization AIM? Oddly enough, MODOK had nothing to do with it. They completely changed MODOK's backstory. Advanced idea mechanics. God, I'm trying to get. All right, let me get behind him. Come on, bitch. Ah! You know what? Time to start slashing. Fuck it. No strategy. Just wild cutting. Wolverine style. Oh, 
Okay, I don't remember. Well, yeah, AIM was very short-lived. It was only an Iron Man 3, pretty much. They need to fin fan Coon for Shang-Chi too. Yeah, man, you know, uh, the dragon in, um, in, uh, Shang-Chi, they could have easily just made that, uh, Fing Fang Foom. Fin Fang Foom. I don't know why they didn't make him the dragon. It was just like a generic Chinese dragon in, in uh, that he was riding. Could have even made the, they could have even made the bad guy Fing Fang Foom. The, the bad guy that, uh, what was the bad guy's name in, in, um, Shang-Chi? The, the, the creature. Not, 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 not the Mandarin. The, the real Mandarin. Uh, that was also a boss in the Guardians of the Galaxy video. Game. The boss from that, that, from the movie. Not a well-known character at all. Like Stranger in Darkness or something? I forgot what it was called. I used to have a cool Fin Fan Foom figure from the 90s Iron Man cartoon. Just a giant green dragon with underwear. For some reason. From Plot 2 4. Damn, 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 damn. X-Men! Injured but not out. The Punisher movie had a game that was faithful to the character's violence. Yeah, I love that game. I gotta stream it again sometime. Man. It's such a good game. You don't remember him having underwear? Yeah. Well, in the classic comics, the old school comics, like Jack Kirby or if anything film, just had giant purple underwear <laughs> for some reason. Look, it's a Reaper. It's a Mass Effect 2. You know where they fucked up with the Sentinels? The reason Days of Future Past even happened? Because they, 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 they made Master Mold. That was the problem. Master Mold just starts spitting out Sentinels nonstop. And our Master Mold's basically a Sentinel factory and a giant Sentinel all in one. It's a horrible idea. Oh, fuck. You could easily lose control of something like that. Every comic book character rocked their undies back in the day. Absolutely. Some still do. Some still do. Just put their underwear on the outside. An Omega level test yeah. subject woke up during experimentation today. 23 close friends and colleagues died in the radiation blast. I personally terminated the offending mutant. We cannot allow this oh, to yeah. ever happen again. Whatever's buy it now and if it's truly worth it. What are you talking about? Punisher game? Do I have that one? I want to upgrade those. After X-Men 97, I said we'll get a similar thing with Spider-Man. Yeah, well, they, they did say it'll depend on how that does. And that it's a possibility. Um, oh, I love that. Spider-Man was such a great series. And I want another crossover episode. How cool would that be? That once their numbers are large enough, they'll exterminate us. Therefore, I say we strike first and make sure not one of them is left alive. It's crazy that they just want to eradicate all mutants. It's horrible. 
Man, you know what one of the best uh, X-Men stories is? And it was really, sh like, just a couple pages. Uh, there's an X-Men. Some of you might know what I'm talking about. An Ultimate X-Men. There's this issue where some kid's powers awaken. He hits puberty, and his powers awaken. And his power is quite Let's literally just to kill everything and everyone around him. Like, his entire neighborhood. He's walking down the street, and people behind him are just, like, melting. Like, that's his power. So the kid ends up going to hide out in a cave. Anyone know what I'm talking about? The kid goes out and hides in a cave, and Wolverine goes and pays him a visit, and he has a beer with the kid, and he, Wolverine's the only person that can get near this kid because of his healing factor. So he has like he gives the kid a beer, and he's talking to him, and, like, he's basically there to, to kill the kid. Like, there's no... I think I heard about that. Yeah, it was such a good issue because it shows, like, the burden that Wolverine takes, and, like, this kid has no hope. Like, there's no... A power like that, like, he, there's no controlling it. It just, it's literally just to kill everyone around you. He just creates this, this aura of, of just decay. But, uh, yeah, the, the kid just talks about how he had all these hopes and dreams and everyone around him is dead and he can't live with himself. And Wolverine's like, I know. And he just, he just comes out of the cave alone and he killed the kid in the cave. He had no choice. I was just like, man, like, it was heart-wrenching. The dead's Wolverine leaving the cave. Yep, he leaves the cave alone after he sits down, talks to the kid, and gives him a beer, and he just does it quick and gets out. I was like, man, that is, is heartbreaking. But it shows that, like, it, it, it also paints a gray area, like, you know how they had like the mutant cure storyline, so it's like there's nothing wrong with us. You can't cure us. But then people like that, like there's no reason they would ever want their powers. It's good writing. <laughs> it's good writing when you have gray areas like that. Sarah found North. Hercules, welcome. Yep, found her too. And she's got a gun to your boy's head. Stand down, Colonel. We don't have time for this. Eliminate her, Logan. Logan, do you realize Stryker's asking you to commit a war crime? Ms. Darkholm is no longer entitled to the protection of the United States government. Eliminate her. Damn it, Logan. Do you even know what your mission is here? Logan, she's interfering with a mission-critical aspect of this operation. Yeah, I'm flagging the play on wholesale murder. Take her out, Captain. That's an order. Wolverine's the only guy you can really on for gray areas, yeah. Sir, yes, sir. Did you like the '90s Iron Man and Hulk cartoons? I like them, but they were nowhere near as good as the see the 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 Holy Trinity of animated cartoons, super comic book cartoons uh, during the early '90s. To me, was Batman, uh, Batman, Spider Man, X Men. Like that that was the Holy Trinity right there. But then you had others that were just okay, like Fantastic Four, Iron Man, Hulk. They were good, but they never reached that level. Superman was also really good. I still don't think Superman ever reached the level of Batman, though. Uh, good show, but that is Super Batman the Animated Series was just... That was untouchable. I To me, Batman the Animated Series was the best. That was the top. And then you have Spider-Man and X-Men, which are pretty equal, in my opinion. But then, yeah, Hulk, Iron Man... Uh, I remember they were trying to do like that Force Works uh, spinoff for a while too, within the Iron Man series, where it was like that team where it was like War Machine, Hawkeye, and uh, Spider Woman. It was just a weird team up that nobody really cared about. Oh, cartoon is Ghost Rider. Uh, Ghost Rider also appeared in. Um, an episode of X-Men on uh, it, it's really quick and I specifically remember it they're in the they're looking at they're watching the news it's talking about mutants and there's one quick shot of Ghost Rider like on the news but it, obviously he's not a mutant but. there's also another episode of uh, the Fantastic Four animated series where Ghost Rider appears and looks into the eyes of Galactus and Galactus is like oh because you know Ghost Rider's got his pendant stare that was a good episode, too. Daredevil was in a Fantastic Four episode, too. Trying to take on Doctor Doom. It was a good little show, but it was, Yeah, it just... 
it had too many other good shows that there were other shows that were just too good. Fantastic Four cartoon, the best theme song. Yeah, it was good. What? How did it go? It's like uh. Reed Richards is elastic. Johnny's the human torch. <laughs> Some awesome lyrics. It's something like that. Dun, 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 dun. Fantastic Four. Reed Richards is elastic. Johnny's the human torch. I don't remember that story. I just remember that little beat, that little tidbit. I agree with your statement on the Holy Trinity of 90 superhero cartoons. Yeah, man, they were. Man, I want to review. I really want to start reviewing. This is the problem being content creator. That has a lot of ideas. There's always something I want to do. And not enough time in the world. I want to review the Batman animated series episode by episode. I've been wanting to do that. Captain N, I want to finish reviewing. There's so much I want to do. The problem with that stuff is I have to pick and choose. Because, like, I'll spend, like, a week reviewing a Captain N episode. And then, like, it'll get, like, 2,000 views. A couple of you will watch it. So it's just like, do I do that? Or do I do, like, another Resident Evil video? Or another Mega Man? Another this? I want to do it all. That's what I want to do. I need to build a machine that slows the rotation of the Earth to give us literally more hours of the day. Oh, um... On an outer state adventure, they got hit by cosmic rays in the most fantastic ways. I don't remember those lyrics. Pity we never got a Ghost Rider cartoon. I don't know how they would have sanitized Ghost Rider for a children's series, but then again, we got a Rambo series, so I, I guess so. See, the problem with Ghost Rider, though, like... He's one of my favorite comic characters of all time. I love the Dan Catch version. That's my that's my Ghost Rider. I like him over Johnny Blaze. That was 90s Ghost Rider right there. And it's funny because all the cool looking depictions of Ghost Rider, now they just model him after the Dan Catch version. But it's Johnny Blaze. Like with the spiked shoulders and the motorcycle. It looks super cool. But, um... Yeah, I have, uh... One of my favorite statues of Ghost Rider. I have, uh... Check this out. I got this forever ago. I used to collect a lot of, like, busts of Marvel stuff, but they're overpriced now. This is one of my favorite collectibles right here. Look at this. Um, it's It was Johnny advertised Bork. on the box as Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider. This is not Johnny Blaze at all. Look at the motorcycle. This is very much Dan Catch Ghost Rider. This is one of my favorite statues I own. I love this collectible. It's so cool. But I don't know. Ghost Rider doesn't have, like, um... A lot of big, like, recognizable storylines, like the Dark Phoenix saga, Venom, all that stuff. Ghost Rider just doesn't really have that, and recognizable villains for kids. I don't know if it would have worked. The Spirit of Vengeance rides again. I actually have. Uh, yeah, here, let me, let me grab it. I have something really cool. So, I, I've talked about this before, but I've been collecting a lot of old comics from the 90s, like all my childhood comics, and over here on the bottom, I'll do a room tour one day, but I have like a, a, a display with all my old comic books. I have a Ghost Rider number one, original copy of number one from the 90s, and I met uh, Tex, the guy that does the artwork to Sarah. He autographed it right here. I met him at a comic book convention. So I have this. Not, I will never get rid of this. This is my number one issue with his autograph on it. So cool, and I actually got a picture with him and everything. <laughs> yeah, but I, I got a whole. I got a ton of the comics. I would go there. There's a local comic book store of mine. Every once in a while, they'll do half off uh, back issues. So I'll go and spend like fifty bucks on a ton of back issues, like random ones that I'm missing, and I'll just keep filling in my collection over time. There's so many I want to get. 
Yeah, no, I, I freaking, I love Ghost Rider, man. It, I, in my collection, I've got, uh, I, I've started a collection of the 90s Spider-Man comics, uh, Punisher Warzone, X-Men, Ghost Rider, what else? Uh, Spider-Man 2099, I still have my number one. Still have that one. I wonder if that's worth anything now, after Spider-Verse. Don't like the, uh, like the shiny cover, Spider-Man 2099 number one. I have that over there, too. So I gotta do, like, a show-and-tell stream one day. Like, back in the kindergarten days when you bring all your toys to school and the kids see it. I gotta do that. Oh, I didn't even mean to fall. Damn. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me put this back. See, my problem is, I don't have them organized. But look. I've got all the variant covers. I think I'm... Do I have all of them? I think I have all of them. X-Men number one. From the 90s. I've got number one right here. With the Magneto cover. I've got this cover. I've got the one with... Uh, Colossus, Rogue, Gambit, and Psylocke. Let's do this. Here's the other one. It's all just X-Men number one. It's the same issue, but they had variant covers. Because I like getting all the variant covers, too. And then this one, which is also like a reprinted variant cover. I'm serious about these collecting these. These are so cool. <clears throat> I remember when I did show and tell when it's cool with my Venom figure. Yeah, I, I remember when you were doing that on stream once. I remember I was in one of your streams, Katia, and you were doing the Spider-Man figures. And you had the Mysterio... Didn't you have Mysterio with the water blast nipples? I remember the Mysterio with water blast nipples. I had him. You put the pump on his back and nipples squirt water. I don't know why. <clears throat> Only thing I have cool anymore is an original Metal Gear NES game. Oh, that that is cool, though. I also got my x Men cards down here. I want to finish collecting those, but I've, I've seen them go for a good amount of money. So they're kind of expensive. Your comics are in nice condition. Yeah, I, I keep them in uh, the plastic with the tape. I, I got a new bag and board for all of them. Like a fresh bag and board. And I put them in the... Uh, on Amazon, there's this uh, like display uh, shelf for comic books that has like acrylic on it. I bought a couple of those. I need to get more of those. But I, I, I always try to keep them in good condition because the ones I bought, I only buy the back issues that are not all destroyed. If they're not in good condition, I, I don't buy them. But that's why I wait until they have like half off sales because the good condition ones are always a bit more. So when they have half off, it actually I can go with like a big handful of them. A ton of comics. We did get a Ghost Rider toy line in the 90s. I remember that one. My local comic store still has a bunch of those. And they're super overpriced. And they don't look very good. I remember Ghost Rider uh, had his Venom, too. He had Vengeance. It was just a little spiky Ghost Rider. Oh, shit. I have the first appearance issue of Morbius. Oh, that's awesome. I like Morbius, man. He's such a cool character. I don't mean the movie. Comic book Morbius is such a cool character. I always liked him when Todd McFarlane drew him and made him, like, super dark. Like, when he's living, like, in the sewers, like, feeding on homeless people and criminals. Like, oh, man. Like, they, they actually made Morbius scary for a while when Todd McFarlane was working on him. And then the Spider-Man animated series made him like this weird like he had like a little sucker he had like little disgusting suckers on his hands and he would drink the plasma from you so gross that's so much worse than the vampire version never understood silver surfer oh man i like silver Surfer. what do you mean you never understood him he was trying to save his planet so he made a deal with galactus spare my planet you can turn me silver give me a surfboard and i'll i'll, I'll find other planets for you to eat 
I remember when I had my loot haul oh, loot crate. I remember I did that for a while. I did loot crate for a while until no, I didn't do loot crate. It was one of the like. You remember when they were doing loot crate? There were a bunch of like knockoffs that weren't loot crate. Like you had like one up box. I think it was one up box that I did. I think that's what it was called. But like eventually I got out of it because like 90% of the stuff that was in there was junk I didn't even care about. You'd get like one cool thing and then the other stuff was just like junk. And I was like, that's too much junk. It was a cool idea, but yeah, it's, man, that, those subscription boxes were everywhere for the time. That fad completely died out. And a lot of YouTube channels, I remember a lot of YouTube channels were doing unboxings of those. Like, that was like their thing for a while, was just unboxing loot crates. That's old school YouTube. Get out of here, man. Oh my god, I'm stuck in the graphics. Okay, now I'm free. <laughs> Here, I'm just gonna throw them off. Can't throw off those energy monsters. So I can oh, he got cut up in little pieces. Bye. Oh, can I not knock him off? Wish I got a subscription to the TMNT crates. They did because they did exclusive figures. Like Donatello's Dark Turtle? Yeah, I never saw those. You know what I want? I want the Ninja Turtles figures where they're the universal monsters. Those are so cool to me. I'm trying to... Get away. Get away. I gotta pull this thing out. I wonder if they're gonna infinitely respawn. I hope not. Oh no, there's less of them now. Never mind. Bitch. Stop teleporting! Go, go, go. Oh, I did it. I did it. I got one side at least. Look at that shit. There's so many of them. Beep, beep, beep. Ah. Let me fight them. At my local con last one, they bought the Playmate tree. Should have TMNT Party Wagon. Oh, they made it look like the old school toys, right? That's cool. funny because they reissue all these old toys and it's just a bunch of grown ass men buying them. Kids don't care about that stuff no more. They're too busy all like on tablets and shit. I want toys. Alright, there we go. Ah, finally. see gameplay of X-Men Origins Wolverine on the Wii? Yeah, I, it's completely different. I gotta play that sometime. It, the Wii, man, it's such weird little games. You'd have like a 360 game like this and the Wii version is totally different weird thing. The last emitter's down. Dylan's popped up straight on my scanner. Sending the God, there's so many of these Africa missions. The same shit over and over. Have you ever messed up your controller from Road Rage? Oh, Game Rat? No. I did mess so up a controller, but it wasn't. Right. Still it, was, it was the fault of Shaq Fu. The, se the sequel Rage game they got made a couple years ago. My Master Chief controller. I love that controller. And I was playing it, and on the stream, like, the R button just flew off of it. Still don't know why. It just, like, snapped off and went flying and broke. 
Look at that, you got a big ass sentinel head. Ah! Keep finding those little figures. This is exactly like the battle from the Super Nintendo game. Mutant Apocalypse. It's just a giant head and it lasers you. I knew well you were gonna bring up Shaq Fu. Yeah, man, because like, I'm so mad about that controller. That was my favorite, it was my UNSC Master Chief controller. And the damn thing just broke for no reason at all. I wasn't even handling it improperly. Bullshit. Shaq, if you're listening, and I know you are, you owe me a controller. Shaq Fu not that bad, and Shaq Fu is atrocious. <laughs> no, Shaq Fu is that bad. Oh man, the new game was just... Oh my god. It, it was more shocking that it happened. Alright, let me get some upgrades here. My claws are at maximum damage. Wait. Only had one controller break, just the L button on the SNES controller stopped working. Oh, I remember my Super Nintendo controllers. I had, like, duct tape on them. Because, like, over time and wear and tear, I played it so much. Over wear and tear that, like, uh, the black cable, there were pieces of it coming off. And, like, you could see the wire exposed. And back then, I was a kid. I didn't have money just to go buy a new controller. So, I, I just I just had, like, duct tape wrapped around it. It was in awful condition. Did you say you do or do not own the Resident Evil Chainsaw controller? Currently, no, but I, the controller, yeah, no, I had, I don't remember if it was the GameCube or the PS2 version I owned, but it came in a really nice box, too, and it was awful to use. It was so, it was not ergonomic at all. I want to say it was the GameCube, no. I want to say it was the PS2 version I owned, but I don't remember. And your PS3 controller analog stick and God of War? Yeah, my PS3 controller, though, yeah, my, that's my white controller. Yeah, the analog stick just doesn't... It's like the top, like, if we move to, like, top left, it doesn't register. I ended up throwing it away. I tried fixing it myself, uh, and it was still, I couldn't fix it. I thought something was stuck in there or something, it just, it doesn't work. I think it's just messed up. But yeah, I'm glad you told me that you use PS5 controllers. That, that works on the PS3 now. It's way better, too. Yeah, Sentinels are robotic peacekeepers. Sure. Sure. Oh, most definitely. They would only be deployed in the event of mutant riots. What about Fatal Fury 2 on SNES? I never got into Fatal Fury too much. I played a couple of them. I rented a couple of them back in the day, but I was more of a Mortal Kombat Street Fighter kid growing up. When it comes to fighting. Let's move the. I'm assuming I have to do something Meeting here. Recording. Project Wide Awake Executive Chamber. Yeah, that's a long Project ass level. Kelly. It's recently come to the committee's attention that Project Wide Awake has been developing sentinels. What exactly are these? Think of them as robotic peacekeepers. They are being designed to counter all these computer over here. Mutant power. So they're meant. Personal log. Representative Robert <laughs> Kelly. I absolutely. I have uh, speaking of Halo 3, I have one of the games on 360 also. They they had like an HD, uh, not uh, not even HD remaster. It was like a Xbox Live Arcade when they were doing downloadable games on there for a bit. There was a uh, Fatal Fury one. I think it was one of the Super Nintendo ones that they put on 360. That's interesting. They were talking about the X Mansion. Hmm. 
Generic drones! Generic drones! I remember wanting on Neo Geo growing up for all the fighting games, but that was too expensive. Yeah, I didn't even really know. Me, when I was growing up, none of, I never saw a Neo Geo at the console. My friends never had one. And I only knew Neo Geo from my local skating rink had a Neo Geo arcade and it had Metal Slug on it. And I remember I had Samurai Showdown and I thought it was the coolest looking game. There's something about the SNK arcades that just felt really advanced for some reason. Well, the MBS cabinets. Does this whole game take place in Africa? No. The, the Africa is the flashbacks. This, this is present day in the Wolverine game. But it can also terminate them. It's still only in its initial phase of planning. But once they're in full production, Sentinels will have Come no on. trouble in combating the mutant menace. The mutant menace. Oh, there we go. It's literally just a giant Iron Man repulsor ray. Logan, you've got to get that sentinel hand to the upper floor. It's the only way we're going to get past that sentinel head. It's recently come to the committee's attention that Project Wildwake has been developing sentinels. So cool, look, technically I'm controlling the sentinel. Go ahead, kill the dudes. Shit. Don't you control Sentinel Hand and Deadpool in the game? Wasn't that near the end or something? I gotta replay that game. The path is open. <sighs> Look at that, that Sentinel Hand annihilated these dudes. Toasty! Didn't the movie state that mutants were discovered in the 2000s? I don't remember. Well, you, you, well, you gotta remember this. There's, they were discovered by the public in like news media, and then they were discovered as in Weapon X knew about them and were experimenting on them for decades. So it depends on your definition of discovered. Does the world know about them or does the government know about them way longer than the world actually did? Because those are two different things. I don't remember, but do you fight sentinels in this game? Yeah, I've been fighting little miniature sentinels in this whole, like, area. But yeah, there's a giant sentinel boss fight. I plan to replay a Deadpool game when the third movie comes out. Yeah, I've been looking for a reason to restream that game. Because I'm not happy with the original stream I did, because it was so dark. But, because I didn't realize, like, the brightness setting is hidden in the main menu of the game. It's not under the menu of the game when the game is playing. You can't go to settings. You have to back out and go to the main menu. So that's why I didn't even realize that until like near the end of the game. It's such a dark game. At least the remaster. Samurai 3. Meeting recording. Project Wide Awake Executive Chamber. I would like to welcome the new members of the Project Wide Awake Committee. I know that we are of one mind now, and that we right will way. accomplish great things. Thank you, Representative Kelly. I like how this is the 70s they got teleported. Protecting mankind from the mutant menace. <laughs> and with that, let me introduce the Central Still got to play Spawn for PS1. I got a couple Spawn games I want to shoot. Another one I want to play is Spawn on Super Nintendo. You remember Spawn on Super Nintendo? I used to love that game. And I never understood what the counter in that game meant. There's like a counter with numbers. I never understood that. I remember I kept dying a lot in the game too, and uh, it never punished me. Ah! Oh, I think I know what to do. I, I think I got it stuck there. Remember that crow game? I never played the crow game. Are you talking about that like City of Angels one that AV Jenner reviewed? Fuck. 
have to get on that platform. I have Game Boy Color spawn. There's a Game Boy Color spawn. I Game Boy Color had so much random games. Oh, I'm controlling both of them. Here we go. I know what to do. Now it's stuck. Now it should be able to because it's stuck. Haha. -ha. Personal log. Bolivar Trask. Several test subjects banded together last night and left the facility without authorization. Two innocent people died and six others were injured. I have tried to keep an open See, I think mind. I power this on. To treat them as equals. Yeah, but I need a battery. Oh, anymore. here it is. Assaulted battery. So we know uh, inanimate objects can teleport too. It's exactly like another room I was in. I'm not sure where I have to take this. Where's the battery for this? I don't see it. Maybe it's over here. play Spider-Man 3 movie game? Yeah, I had it on 3... Well, I still have it on 360. That's the one where Venom looks way better than he does in the movie. Because he, he looks like the movie Venom, but he's, like, super buff. So it's like they combined the comic book version with him. I thought that was... That was an okay game. It was very much just trying to be Spider-Man 2, the game. I don't know what to do with this. Maybe I have to go back down. You know what? There was a battery cell over here, wasn't there? Like a battery compartment? I might be backtracking here for nothing, admittedly. Never mind enemies. That means I'm on the right way, at least. I just gotta find a word to stick that. Who's Spider Man 2? Did Harry ever have a symbiote? Um. You mean in the comics? Or. Because in the game, yeah, but. They, as far as I know, they invented that with, uh, what was the cartoon? There was a cartoon. I don't remember. Sensational Spider-Man, I think it was. That was on Disney XD. That's the first time I ever saw that they did the whole Harry, Harry Potter. I was say Harry Potter. That's the first time I saw that they ever did the whole Harry Osborne Venom thing was that cartoon show. It's kind of weird. I, I don't know how I feel about Harry. But like, to me, Ven Harry's just... To me, Harry's Green Goblin 2. <laughs> like, that's who Harry is. He's Green Goblin number 2. I don't know what to do with this. Ultimate... Was it called Ultimate Spider-Man? I don't remember which one. It, it, it was either Ultimate or Sensational. I forgot what the name of it was. It probably was Ultimate Spider-Man. But I remember it was on Disney XD, and, and that's the first time, like, Venom showed up where it was hairy. Eat Sentinel Laser! Oh, shit.
Might as well make Mary Jane Carnage a scream or something. Uh, Mary Jane was a big red werewolf monster in the Ultimate Comics for some reason. And uh, Gwen Stacy was uh, Carnage. They did some weird shit in the Ultimate Universe. Ooh. There we go. Notice the stream title. I used the subtitle from the uh, the very first appearance of the Sentinels in the comics. I put that in the title. What's on the cover? Got him. I'm so hungry. All food. Speaking of Spider-Man 2, still no word on DLC story chapters. I still haven't finished Spider-Man 2. I gotta get back on it. Ugh, I was doing so good with that game when it came out. And now it's in my backlog again. I got so far in it, too. Ah! No word on Aftermath DLC for MK1. Oh, it, it's coming. Yeah, that's coming for sure. There's yeah. some kind of Aftermath DLC. I'm hoping it leads to the Dragon King, because that's where it seems that they're hinting at. It looks like the future of MK1, sequel-wise, is going to be... Uh, I'll take care of this Shao Kahn rebelling against Melina's empire, and them unleashing the Dragon King on them. That's what it sounds like. I would have figured a way in. Thank you, Raven Dark. You always knew how to make an entrance. Thanks. I was talking to her. I have to tell you, your mustache is unstoppable. What, my mustache? I don't think it's anything special. She's I screwed it out. You. you know she's <laughs> still alive. Right, who do I have to gut to get some explanations here? No one. I promised you answers, and I make good on my promises. I'm guessing you remember Africa again. And the situation we find ourselves in with Raven here. Logan, move on those coordinates. Fred, that's Will Raven, I am from the Black Eyed Peas. Oh yeah. Prejudice, sir. We can't risk the mission. Take her out, Lieutenant. Double tap to the chest, sir. Subject is dead. Lies. I've never had a problem killing the enemy, but I draw the line at murder. There's nothing sexier than a man with a conscience. Africa was the beginning of the end. I quit a couple months later. I couldn't take rounding up mutants. Rounding them up? Why? Didn't stay around long enough to find out. Creed was the only one on the team that didn't seem to mind. Hell, he enjoyed that it. That bastard. Where were the mutants sent? I love that episode Alkali of uh, X Men and this place uh, is somewhere called the Island. Where Sabretooth, right, where the, he's in the mansion, and Wolverine just absolutely pissed off that island. he's there. Does that mean anything to you? It's like he can't be nope. here. But maybe Dukes knows. He and Nord used to be tight. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go pay Dukes a visit. If we can get to the roof, we can take a chopper off this rock. I could teleport Raven me up top, but you're gonna have to get there on your own, Logan. Don't sweat it. Logan, you and Wraith can go after Creed, but you have to tell me where Alkali Lake is. I want to pay that mutant prison a visit. Will do. You be careful, Miss Darkholm. That's my son you're carrying in there. You see the trailer for the Chinese see remake? Of it? There was a Chinese what remake of Anaconda coming out? No, not, I didn't know about that. Saw so Winnie the Two Blood and Honey uh, is getting a part three also. I can't believe it. I gotta watch the second one. I heard the second one has a significant, although the bar is low. I heard the second one 
did have a much higher production value somehow. So that's interesting. And then eventually we're gonna get the Poovers with all the other monsters. I, I don't know. It's all very bizarre. It's my son. Did, wait, did he mention that? Wait, did they make a reference that? That Mystique, uh, is Nightcrawler's mom in this? Because the movies don't acknowledge that. At all. And this guy can teleport. I heard the first, second Winnie the Pooh film are better than Madam Web. I mean, yeah, that's a low bar. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be better than Madam Web. I don't even need to see those movies to tell you that. I'm confident about that. There's a Sentinel. Mutant detected. And I used to have this cool uh, Sentinel toy from the 90s X-Men series when I was a kid. Uh, what you 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 push his head back and his chest pops open and you put an action figure in there like they're captured and he had like a little harpoon arm with a string on it. Oh, and his knees were buttons and his feet would fly off like missiles. Coolest thing. He was like he was, he was like this big too. It was a pretty big figure. Now get the hell out of here. Roger that. Good luck, buddy. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. Is Dark Fate better than Madam Web? As a functional movie with a beginning, end, and middle, sure. As a Terminator film, it's still shit. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I maybe. I guess. Because Madam Web is barely a functional movie. Terminator Dark Fate at least functions as a movie. That makes some sort of sense within the, its own story, although it's shit. So there, there is a asterisk to that. Oh damn! Big ass sentinel. See, I want sentinels in the in the MCU. Whenever we get sentinels, I want them to be scary, like these giant, almost unstoppable robots and a master mold that's just going crazy rogue, making a ton of them. Like, I want them to be actual threats, not these, like, toys that, like, Gambit throws a card and they're like, oh, they just fall over. They need to be dangerous, like, mutant extermination machines. <laughs> boss, yeah, this is a cool boss. I think... Since I never beat this game, I think I actually stopped right after the Sentinel fight. Because this is the last thing I remember about this game when I played it back when it came out. It was the Sentinel fight. I always thought it was so cool. But, like, something like this is... This is something like this that I'd like to see in MCU. Like, Sentinels at this scale and size... Because, yeah, we saw them in the Days of Future Past, but they were just, like, three people tall. They weren't big. Am I even damaging it? Oh, I think I did those wires. I'm not sure why I'm supposed to hit it. I love how in the first episode of X-Men, the animated series, Sentinel tries to be stealthy by hiding in the alleyway. Oh, yeah. It was waiting for Jubilee to come back home, and it was hiding behind a tree. It's a giant robot. I just saw that the other day. It was hilarious. So dumb. 
I mean, Saturday morning cartoon shows. You gotta be forgiving with those. God, that does so much damage, that laser blast. I remember the Lego Marvel Super Heroes game. If you kill the Sentinels, they give you so much Lego, like, bricks, the currency. Sentinels are not stealthy. Yeah, in the episode, it was behind a tree, and then Jubilee's like, oh, no! And it just, like, comes out. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's these wires. Find it odd that Sentinel's giant metal robots were created primarily to stop a man whose main thing is he controls metal. Well, remember, uh, they started making them out of, like, hard plastics. They, they, they introduced that later in the X-Men series. So Magneto couldn't do shit against them. The new models were made out of, like, hard plastics. Which, yeah, that's convenient. They look like metal to me. But yeah, you can't just have Magneto just like fuck them up every time. I thought the Sentinels were cool in the Ultimate X-Men comics. There's one story arc where Magneto just takes an army of Sentinels and reprograms them with his powers. He just like reruns all the wires and shit somehow and they're loyal to him. my favorite part of this game, this whole battle. Massive. The audio quality is really good. It sounds like we're actually in a big flying robot rocket in the air. Why is Wolverine on Sentinel? Because you gotta destroy it. The bad guys. So you do bad guys. I love these falling segments. Oh. Damn it. Keep hitting it too early. There's little pieces of debris. There. Ah! Why couldn't we get this in the movie? I know. I'm hoping the MCU. I, I have incredible faith that the MCU. Yeah, the. A lot of the stuff they've been doing hasn't been that great. But I have a lot of faith that they're going to handle the X-Men really well. Because Kevin Feige in particular, he's extremely passionate about X-Men. Like, X-Men is, like, one of his favorite things, Marvel-wise. Um, and also, if, if you see, like, his leadership for the X-Men 97 series, he, he was very vocal about there were two things that he wanted in that series. And if he didn't get both of them, he wasn't going to do X-Men 97. He wanted the original cast back. Uh, and he wanted the theme song, the rights to the theme song. If they couldn't get that, he wasn't going to do the series. So I, I think they're really going to handle X-Men well. I hope they do. Um, I don't care about all this multiversal stuff and hang and all that anymore. Like, I want the, the I wanted to go back to the 90s, man. Let's go back to the 90s. 
let, let, let's make the future of the MCU be very focused on Spider-Man and X-Men. I think that'd be awesome. It was very Spider-Man, X-Men focused, and Fantastic Four is going to be there. Like, that's going to be really refreshing for the MCU. And then you have all the, like, side Avengers that are still around. You know, they can do stuff too, but every once in a while you'll have the big events that involve them. But I, I want them to really focus because there's... There's a lot of major storylines, MCU-wise, that'll cross uh, among different characters outside of X-Men that are X-Men-based. Like, the Phoenix? Yeah, the Phoenix Saga? That could be, like, a big multi, multi-character multi threat. Avengers vs. X-Men was a series. There's so much you could do with X-Men. So much. Marvel needs the X-Men. They need them. And they have them Fuck your power source. What was just a little man flying in the air? I heard that the MCU is getting a retooling thanks to Deadpool Wolverine. I uh, had from from what it looks like, it looks like the end of Deadpool three is gonna have a big like some kind of crazy multiversal shift that's going to change the MCU which it should Deadpool 3 is the perfect the perfect uh, movie to use to bring finally get the X-Men in there I don't know how it's going to work story wise that's so cool he just rockets right through his head this entire boss fight was better than the whole movie yeah. X-Men Origins Crash closer to town. Okay, Logan. I found Dukes for you. You're never gonna believe where Dukes hangs out these days. Or how big he's got. <laughs> the blob. Yeah, I'll we'll probably cut it here after this cutscene. It'll be a good stopping hey, point. We got to the Sentinels. Wow. Tonight was time. the night of the Sentinels. Uh, Ten or twelve uh, hundred pounds. Yeah, ago. don't wear ties. Maybe it's time to give the pork rinds a rest. So you've upgraded since Africa. Big deal. I love Speaking how the Blobs big, Mutant Powers is that he has Africa. like these gravitational waves that like keep him from moving. No, he's just oh, big, no man. He's Strikers huge. And you're gonna tell me. Did you the call mutant. me Blob? Remember the VHS tapes? Yeah, I had them. It was a two set. There was there was a two set. I might as well fight him. There was a set of two that was Night of the Sentinels one and two, and it had a Stan Lee interview in there. I owned it. It was red and black. Damn, Blob was whooping my ass. It's kind of funny because in the movie when he finds the blob, he was in that like, he was like practicing his boxing skills. He wasn't like rampaging through a grocery store eating all their food. He's like at an Aldi just devouring everything here. I am the blob. That's the worst character next to face, man, because he can just like sit on it. And then you're done. You hit big chunkers. <laughs> Riding the blob. This should probably kill him. You're just stabbing him nonstop. <laughs> Oh my god. Damn you. Come here, big boy. Big boy. Did you just call me Blob? That's his mutant name. You know who I always see in the movies? Because I always liked him in the show because I had his action figure. It was uh, Avalanche. 
You never saw him in the movies. Him and Pyro were always together in the cartoon. I love that they got the same actor to play Pyro also. In uh, Deadpool. Whoa. You're like a beach ball with arms. Thought I was the only old one now. You're not the only old one here. We got people all ages here. But yeah, I know exactly the VHS cassettes you're talking about. I, I watch them repeatedly. When was the last time? It's like some of the bacon bits. Sure you don't want to sit down and rest. Avalanche was next men evolution. Yeah. He was one of those uh he was one of those bad kids that lived in that like children's home or whatever for the bad kids with Scarlet Witch and all them. So, Bob, tell me, what's this island? It's where Stryker takes mutants after Victor's caught them. It's like a supermax prison for the most powerful mutants. Rumor is Stryker does experiments on them there. I heard he was taking their powers, trying to combine them somehow. They're trying to combine them. They killed her, so I'd let them God. put that in me. Trying to combine them into that they awful version of Deadpool. Experiment. Now, where is it? Don't know. Stryker kept it secret. But I heard a prisoner named Remy LeBeau escaped. Guards called him Gambit because he kept taking their money in poker. The Raging Cage. Now he's doing the same to tourists in New Orleans. <laughs> but he's not going to tell you a thing. Oh, he's going to talk, all right. <laughs> this big ass. Nice looking place. Bet you'll take care of that in a hurry. No, I must well, have played this part because I have the achievement for beating Gambit. So I must have played this far. You Remy LeBeau? I owe you money. Why play this game no. right now? The best answer to that is why not? Remy LeBeau, I am. So what brings you to our fair city, sir? Victor Creed. He's the man. And it was a channel member vote. Well, too bad for Mr. Creed then, eh? Works with a man named Stryker. God, that looks nothing island. like Gambit in the movie. I need to know where it is. Mighty nice dog tags you got on. What? Look a lot like the ones the men who took me wore. Uh, wait, wait, I'm not... Two years I rotted in that hellhole. I ain't going back. That sounds awful. It doesn't even sound like him. I love Gamer Man. He's always one of my favorite X-Men. Him and Colossus and Wolverine are probably my three favorite X-Men. Male X-Men. Female, I gotta go Psylocke. Like, whoop my ass, man! First TMNT movie was good? That movie's a classic. It's the best TMNT movie. I love that scene in X Men '97 when uh, Gambit uh, makes Wolverine's claws glow, and then he just like slices that that uh, Sentinel's head off effortlessly. Because <laughs> Morph turned into Blob, and then he bounced off him. Oh, they keep moving around. That right there, all this right here would have killed Gambit. He would have been dead. Bleeding profusely. Those are some mighty nice claws you got there. There. Where is the island? You're starting to make me angry. Ah. It's weird though with this game because like you have these long ass padded levels and now it's just like a series of small boss fights. Kind of like that though. I love boss fights in general. Catch 
counterattack. And that should have killed him too. <laughs> Good dick. I'm going Gambit have to show Gene Gray how to properly season food. That was hilarious. He had that Vice City look too. That cutoff shirt. Yeah, Jean Grey, I she I'm telling you, that Cajun spices are probably delicious for Gambit making that food. Jean Grey was probably boiling her chicken with no seasoning. Nastiest chicken you can make. Most flavorless slop. Don't boil a chicken, people. Fry it. It's delicious. I bet Gambit's the best cook of the X-Men, 100%. Yeah, I mean, most definitely. You know Rogue would be a good chef because she just like, just grab like Gordon Ramsay and like touch him and take his knowledge. Like all his cooking knowledge. Uh, now Gambit's on the run. I think next stream. I don't, Cadigan, uh, if you're still here, you think I could beat this game in one more stream after this level? Because the next layer is the last one, right? The Three Mile Island or whatever? Are you crazy? You so go? violent. Whew. You stuck real good, mon frere. Here. Let me give you a reason to get on stuff. Shit. Au revoir. <laughs> God, that looks so painful. Look at that shit. He's got the claws. He could have just like sliced it real quick and fallen off. They should beat it next to him for. Next stream, I'll, I'll put finale in the title. I'll be a daredevil, if you will. Won't give up yet, huh, mon frere? Well, come on then. Catch me if you can. <laughs> Squad, move out. Weapon X is in the casino. He looks to be chasing an unknown target. Terminate Weapon X and anyone else who gets in your way. Striker out. Let's go, go, go! There we go. You know what? I think actually that'll be a good stopping point. Let's see what upgrades I have. Yeah, because next time we'll, we'll we'll finish off with Gambit and then we'll go to Three Mile Island. We'll top it off there. We we'll do upgrades real quick though. Seven thirty. I'm hungry and my mind is fried from uh <laughs> the previous game. Oh man, that game was such a trip. I I cannot believe how crazy that was. I knew that game was nuts. I, I, I did not realize how, how, there's no words. There's, there's no words to describe that game. <clears throat> oh, man. All right. Um, what's today? Today's Monday, right? All right. Yeah. Friday, uh, Friday, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, I should be able to post the Dick Tracy review. Again, if you want me to do retro movie reviews in the future, uh, just make sure you give that a watch. But uh, that'll be up. The copyright claim should be lifted by then. Uh, Friday, we'll be finishing Tomb Raider. That's the finale. We just got, uh, what, like two more levels to do. And then we have the uh, unfinished business add-on content, which has got a couple levels right there. Um, so, yeah, we'll cut it there. I'm going to go eat. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out today. I had a lot of fun today on both streams. And, uh... I'll see you in the comment section for Dick Tracy. If I don't, I'll see you Friday for Tomb Raider finale. I will see you then.